Germany, mountainous country north of Canada. The fuck? And welcome back to a Gator Snapper playthrough where he's back. Oh, oh, oh my god, Gator Snapper. It's, it's been five weeks. Where have you been, buddy? What, what have you been doing? Well, as a matter of fact, I've been doing jack shit because... God, okay, so here's the fucking deal with all of this. Episodes that are about to come out after this video... It's gonna be just like, oh, it's like nothing happened. The playlist is continuing from all the series from, like, exactly where it left off. Next fucking two episodes after those two episodes of every series, I repeatedly say over and over again, like, I went on a brief hiatus for blah 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 blah. And I'm getting kind of sick of explaining it over and over again, but... I also said this was gonna be the video that would explain all of it. So, hey, uh, I went on a hiatus. It's because it was in the middle of some of my summer classes, right, actually now in the middle, is right when I had to start studying for exams and shit. And I was like, well, I can't do fucking both of these things. I, it was fucking hard. I got a math class. I got to fucking put all my brain power into that. So, yeah, I took a little break. Lasted a bit longer than I thought it would because, I don't know, I just couldn't get into the mood to record any time, like, at that point. So I was just like... Uh, let's give it a little bit longer. When I finally did start recording, what do you know, three weeks had passed. And, yeah, basically, that's the long and short of it, I guess. I don't know, because I was, balance, I was trying to balance, like, class stuff with work, and then just, like, relaxing time, and, I don't know, I just couldn't fucking do it. I was bored as shit. And, so, yeah, there we go. There's Gator's fucking explanation for everything. God, I really, I was planning for this fucking singularity to really explain like, in more detail than I had all the other times, but I guess that's not the case. Whatever. It's, th that's the long and short of it, that's basically it. And this is the singularity I picked to fucking explain all that shit. This is Roblox from the looks of it. Now this is unturned, it's some fucking zombie survival thing. It's a singularity because if you don't know, I fucking hate survival games. I hate those open world things where it's just like, keep track of your hunger and your water. <laughs> I don't like that stuff. I know it's a genre lots of people do like. I've just played too many games at this point that do it, so I get kind of sick of it. That's why I'm doing this as a singularity. I only have to do it for, like, fucking an hour, and that's it. And the video's only gonna be, like, 30 minutes if I cut it properly, but who cares? So, as far as I know, shit should be happening. I don't know. This is There should be, like, zombies everywhere. Where the fuck are they? Is that a zombie? All I see is fucking blue. Honestly, if I didn't assume this was water, I would have assumed that, like, part of the map had disappeared, and if I walked here, I would die. Can I see underwater? Is that a thing I can do? No, oh, I can't. Can I crouch? Oh, oh, hello. I found the emojis. Oh, boy, this game is... This game is beautiful. I love it. I love a fucking game where I can interact with other people. <clears throat> Through the use of emojis, what the fuck? Okay, you see? This is this is it. This is perfect. This is exactly what I needed to fucking reintroduce myself to the world. Coming out of my hibernation of a fucking thousand years of this fucking shit. Scary-ass water zombies. Well, I guess that answers the question. Oh, God, he's still coming for me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're out of here. Fuck this shit. I mean, this is probably going to sound like I properly segued into it because I've taken up editing, which is kind of the subject of this episode. I say I've taken up editing, and there's a couple ep episodes of uh, Outcasts, uh, Sonic, and Shards of Darkness that I edited, and I was like, I was totally into it. As I was editing Six Shards of Darkness, I was like, this takes a long fucking time. How do people fucking edit like this? So, I don't know if I'm actually going to edit every series I do from this point onwards. Like, I said I would in Sonic and Outcast. I was kind of realizing by Shards of Darkness as I was recording it, like, this might not be the fucking thing for me, but... I don't know, we'll see. I like some of the editing stuff that I do, like, some of the minor edits are nice, but... What used to only take me, like, oh, uh, like, I don't know, fifth Like, what used to take me only 15 minutes to do, to, it was, like, started to take me, like, an hour... And, I don't know, I, I, I just wasn't into that. Oh god, there's another zombie somewhere. Maybe if I sit on this. Oh, hey, pick up tape. There we go. But yeah, don't expect every video to be fully edited. Singularities are an exception, though, because those are just fucking long-ass pieces of shit that need to be edited. Like, I can't be expected to talk the entire time, can I? Oh, shit. Oh, I thought I was back in the room. I was like, where did he go? He's just following after me now. So, what the fuck am I doing here? Okay, it's simple enough, I understand, like, oh, get your shit to survive, but... I don't know, can I just have fun? Can I just get a fucking gun and shoot people? Okay, never mind. Mate, wait, can zombies not swim? Am I safe here? I hope so. I really hope so. Yeah, because, you know, zombie... Oh, police station, that's gonna have some shit in it. 
Zombies shouldn't be able to swim, so I think I'm pretty safe. Hello? Is that a swimming zombie I just heard? No? Okay, cool. Where's my oxygen, by the... Oh, shit, there it is. It's at the very bottom where I can't fucking see it because my resolution's fucking obnoxious. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna see if there's a gun somewhere in here. I want something to shoot things with. Oh, I'm dying. What the fuck? Is that really... I had, like, two seconds of air let... What? Uh, okay, I have to wait for it to recharge. It's not like you just go to the surface, take a big old gulp of fresh air, and, oh, yeah, fucking... Actually, wait, I'm making it sound like that's not how it should be. Fuck it, whatever. Oh, 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 there he is. Oh, there he is. What the fuck? Jesus, why? Why is this the thing that is happening right now? D dude, oh, he is right on me. He's taking nibbles out of me. Okay, nope, none of this. Fucking out of here. Zombies can't climb ladders. If they do, I'm gonna be really upset. Eh? That's right, you stupid fuck. Wow, I'm already being reminded of all the... Ooh, haha, <laughs> pick up a machete. It's only 32%, apparently. Ooh, boy. This is already reminding me of, like, Minecraft. Like, all the shit. I mean, okay, Minecraft has some really fucking great moments, so I'll say that. Like, it's a fun little mindless, like, kind of adventure thing, but... Oh, boy, I get so tired of it. Well, this is kind of a pickle that I'm in here. I mean... Fuck, from the sounds of it, there's all sorts of underwater zombies all over the place, and I'm just stuck up here twiddling my dick. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? They swim really fast for zombies, I gotta say. I find that very inaccurate to the situation I'm supposed to be finding myself into. Alright, whatever, it's fine. Ooh, oh no, that didn't work, and there's zombies everywhere. Cool, where are they all coming from? Oh god, oh, there's like that one right under me. Okay, what do we got? What are we dealing with? That's a lot of fucking zombies! Actually... It's not bad, though. They're all just, like, stuck down there way below me. They can't do shit. Yeah, what the fuck am I worried about? I'm only on 16% health. I'm sure it's fine. They are, like, right there, aren't they? <laughs> okay, that's kind of creepy. I don't like that. Oh, good. I'm already about to die. Well, this is fucking wonderful. Why? Okay, it's fine. Oh, they, they're they gone. The zombies disappeared, I, I guess. Okay. That's cool. Why is... Okay. My favorite things in video games is when my vision gets all gray and I get cerebral palsy all up in my hands. This is one of the things I'm not a fan of in games like these. Like, I don't really know what I should be doing at this point. Minecraft, you kind of just... It doesn't matter. You don't need to be doing anything. You just build shit and go on with your fucking whatever the fuck you want to do. This game, I feel like I should be doing something. I don't know what the fuck that is, though. I guess it's kind of just the same deal, just make it and survive, keep going through different days. I guess it's just go and explore. That's that's what I should be doing right now. The thing is, is there's nothing I want to explore towards. Like, there's that flooded city, and I checked it out, and boy howdy, was you know, I got bored of that awfully quick, so... And now it's just all of this, and there's nothing that inspires me to be like, oh, I want to go that way, because that looks interesting. This is all just... fucking Roblox. What is that? That looks like a tower. Okay, see... I mean, it maybe it's a tower. It might just be an unrendered tree, but as from what I can see, that looks like a radio tower. So that's something I could check out at least. Let's try that. Oh yeah, that's a thing. All right. I hope it's something cool, not something boring. It looks like it's going to be something boring, unfortunately. See, it's, this is the thing. Like, if you want to make a zombie game, which is already kind of an outdated fucking concept. But, if you want to make a zombie game, throw in some of the realism shit into it, where it's like, oh, you go uphill, the zombies don't chase after you as much because they're very fucking... They go towards where the path of least resistance is. They couldn't go uphill because they're just a fucking decaying, slow-walking piece of shit. I mean, like, you could also have some downsides to it. Like, you also get as tired going uphill. Yeah, this actually sounds more like the thing I hate in video games, where it gets, like, overly realistic, but... Whatever, I'm just saying there's some mechanics to zombie games that could be explored to make it more enjoyable. Oh, and look at this. The thing I thought was so interesting is as boring as I feared it would be. What is this? It's another machete. Well, I guess it's better than my machete, so that's something, I guess. Okay, now how do I climb down safely? I don't want this to be a fucking issue here. Okay, okay, good. They planned that much, at least. Oh, hey, and there's a house over there. Actually, you know what? This is the advantage to finding this thing. I can scope out my environment. Uh, so there's boring road and flooded town. There's thing in my way. And I think I saw a house over there. Cool. This thing that would have been so cool to look at my environment with. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's like a little neighborhood over there. Okay, let's check that out, I guess. I think... Oh, no! What the sh... You fractured to death. Okay. 
Great, I'm at the point again where there's nothing of interest to, like, draw me towards. I've got bridge. Bridge is nice. I like bridge. Now, I don't want it to sound like I'm shitting against every fucking open world game there is. I'm not really a fan of open world games, but I do like the ones that have things that are, you know, interesting. I guess I can't really shit on this too much for just being, like, a very boring open world thing since it's probably just, like... It's probably one of those things that you just throw into some random generator and it'll build some shit out of it, I guess. I don't fucking know. Oh, there's a car over here. And a tunnel, I guess? Alright. Maybe it's a secret military base. Hmm. Well, this is fun. Yay. How do I make it go? Do I- I need gas. Oh. Oh. Yay. Oh, give me this. Give me this. Oh! Oh, no! Okay, I'm good. I've only lost like a third of my health. I'm fine, yeah. Oh, and I- I got shirt. Yay. I love shirt. It's my favorite thing to wear. Okay, how do I- how do I avoid this? Oh, fuck off! Okay, nope, I broke a leg apparently. That's wonderful. Okay, fuck you. Fuck! God damn it! Uh, oh, hey, another thing. This time I spawned, thankfully, close to something. Missing power source. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Can I- can I drop this for fuck's sake? I don't- I don't want this anymore. It's- it, go. Well, I can lean. That's cool. Love being able to lean. Now, how do I drop this shit? Go. I'm hitting every fucking key. Every key. Oh, I found out how to fucking third person. Wonderful. Okay. There's no way to drop this, is there? Salvage. Let's try that. I got metal scrap and metal scrap. No rubber, because, I mean, who need, who'd fucking see that in a tire? Ooh, a nail gun. Maybe I can use that. Okay, we're good. Oh, and even some nails. Cool. I have some kind of a weapon, I suppose. Let's try it out. So, you get your nails. I don't... Okay, you get, you get your nails. Maybe I don't have to worry. Maybe I just, like, automatically... Yeah, 4 out of 20, right? Or, I don't know. Let's see. Let's pop this... F oh, oh, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Hey, I killed my first zombie. Sure, is one of the fucking crawlers that didn't know any better, but fuck them. I wonder if, if, like, zombieism became an actual thing. If people could get, like, super offended for, like, making fun of them. Just like, how dare you? They can't help but be what they are. They have no choice in the matter. I'd just laugh. Fucking zombies, they try to eat people's brains. Who wants that in their life? Good to see that after Gator Snapper's brief hiatus, he's coming back with the stunning commentary. Zombies are stupid and shit. Boy, howdy, Gator Snapper. You sure know how to say it like it is. Oh, hello. We. Oh, he's not dead yet. Where are my other nails? I have nails. Fuck off. Come on. Okay, you know what? Let's just fucking regroup up here. Can he hit me? Oh, he can! He jumped right at me. Okay, this is some shit. Uh, okay, we'll go back on top of our little box fort. Bye, buddy. Okay, let's go back on top of the little box fort. Why am I calling it a box fort? Let's go back on top of the fucking store and see if I actually lost my... I'm bleeding out. What the fuck? I love all these fucking status effects that I have no way of fucking, like, dealing with. Unless I don't have duct tape anymore. Wonderful. Uh, can't this be... I can't jump either, apparently. I guess that's part of bleeding out. You can't jump more than fucking five feet. Is this something that's gonna wear off, too? Or am I just kind of fucked? Am I just... I remember, am I really gonna just bleed out here? Yeah, this is... Boy, this is where I saw myself dying in a fucking other 15 minutes. Oh, I, it stops automatically. Good. I'm just nearly dead, but at least I'm not bleeding out. That's nice. I guess. Okay, is that fuck still following me? I don't see him. Let's just get some money. I'll patch up my wounds with my money. Oh, he's back! Oh no! He's followed me here! Oh, he's my worst fucking enemy. He's like all those fucking horror stories you hear where, like, the one thing follows you until the, your fucking end. But I guess it'd be fine if he didn't do anything. I don't know. If I had, like, a scary zombie friend, like, just following me for the rest of my life, but he didn't actually do anything, I don't know, I could see myself being okay with that. And there's another zombie. Is, is he on fire? He's doing awfully well for being on fire. Well, how about we lead him into the water so he'll feel better about himself? <laughs> Mr. Zombie, you seem to be burning alive. Let me just let me just douse you out over here. Come on now, follow me. You're about to be baptized in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Oh, the two crawlers have lost interest. And actually, so is he. Huh, cool. Well, bye.
Little bitch. Like, there's really... I... This is the only thing I've found so far that has anything I could, like, physically be doing. It kind of bothers me, because I'm gonna die staying in this town, but the fuck else am I gonna do? Like, I'm not even equipped to, like, salvage things to become equipped. Like, I can't even go through this town to get things to help me out, because I'll just, just die as soon as a zombie breathes at me too hard. You know, I saw when I picked this map, which, by the way, is Germany, north of Canada, as it fucking boldly proclaims, I saw that there's this awesome-looking castle somewhere, so maybe I shouldn't be judging it so hard about having an uninteresting environment, and maybe I'm just, like, in the boring places, but I don't know. I could try looking for the castle, wherever the fuck that might be, so... Hey, making plans. Would it not be ironic if the fireman zombie was on fire? <laughs> Stop following me, you shit. Love. Love. Love turtles. Ah! He caught up to me! I was br I was briefly admiring that sign, thinking to myself, wow, a sentiment I can get down with. And then this asshole just bites my ass. Okay, oh, but we're right back. Cool. Nice. I like the reap spawn mechanic. So is there anything... I want to, like, get shit in this town because it'll probably help me out to explore the rest of this world, but... It can't fucking last more than two seconds here, because they just keep killing me. I mean, sure, I'll admit, I'm not really fucking taking this all too seriously, and am, in fact, dying quite often and stupidly, but I don't fucking know. Give me something. Give me, like, a little knife to just use. Like all those ones I've been picking up and losing because I keep dying. So since there's not much else going on in this game right now, I have an amazing story to tell about a dream I had about maybe a week or two ago. And I know most dreams that happen a week or two ago people don't really recall because dreams are very fucking ethereal things and you, you wind up uh, losing track of them over time. This one though, this one has stuck with me for quite a long time because of how strange it was and kind of because of how often I've told the story to my friends. So. I was having a dream where none other than John Arbuckle from the live-action Garfield movie was stranded on a rock in the middle of the ocean with two lovely, beautiful women. And what else would two lovely, beautiful women stranded on a rock in the middle of the ocean be doing with John Arbuckle rather than sucking him off? And I was like, well, okay. Because part of me was, like, like aware in this dream. I was like, okay, so I'm probably tr having a, a wet dream for whatever reason about John Arbuckle. Or rather, the two women that were, like, subsequently blowing him. And then, as the fucking dream goes on, two walrus people appear. They tap him on the shoulder. John Arbuckle looks up and says, Well, this is strange. But for some reason, I had the feeling he recognized these walrus people. And then one of them just whips out his cock, and it's a gigantic fucking walrus penis. And the girls are like, Oh, fuck yeah. Let's get all up on that. And just like that... John Arbuckle is sitting in the background while these two women are going to town on these fucking walrus people cocks. And all I can think to myself is, now why in the fuck am I having a dream about John Arbuckle being cucked by walrus people? And I figured maybe I had a new fetish. Tried getting into it the next morning. Was not a fan. You could really say this is a dream about John R. Cuckle. Ha! <laughs> no, but really, this was a real dream I had. I'm not making this shit up. For whatever fucking reason, I had a dream about John Arbuckle being cucked by walrus people. It was the strangest thing I've ever fucking dreamed of. And I'm really wondering, like, where the fuck did that come from? There's, like, there's a bunch of theories about why people have the dreams they have. It's like, oh, your brain's getting rid of, like, useless information to your brain. Where... Did walrus people, John from Garfield, and just, like, sexual frustration come from? Okay, well, I know where the sexual frustration came from, but what about the rest of that shit? Why walrus people on the middle of a fucking island in the middle of nowhere, and John Arbuckle? It wasn't even an island, it was a tiny fucking rock. The chances of that are very slim, but there you have it. That's what happened in this dream of mine. Like, I told my friends this, and they, so they, they gave me the strangest looks, like... Nick, if you're dreaming this stuff, you know that means, like, there's something, there's some part of you that's into this. And I was like, don't trust me. I tried. I tried getting into it. 
It was not something I was a fan of. You know how hard it is to find walrus porn on the internet? Very. Okay, really guys? Really? Oh good, I can- okay, I can sprint backwards. So I could cheat this out, like the, doing some of this. Yeah! Look at me! This is how you play survival games. Get back here, I'm not done with you fuckers. Yeah, fuck you. This is... This is one of the problems I have with games like these. Very easy to break the system. Yeah, fuck you. I killed one of you. What you gonna do about it? Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. You fucking zombie pricks. There you go. It's that easy. Man, survival games sure are fun, am I right? Oh, it's my shit. Oh, and I have flares. Oh, cool. I guess I should have figured I could pick up all my shit like this, but... I was too busy just being generally upset with myself to care. I've forgotten that this is a, in fact, a crafting game, and that I should probably look into my crafting menu. Oh, this is already boring shit. Requires crafting one, so I have to level up to actually do any of this shit. Which, I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... Ugh. Oh, I could cloth, glue, tape. Wait. Cloth plus glue equals tape. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. I could see that being a thing. I can make a metal sheet, I can make a rope. I can make some nails. Oh, that's good because I still have the I have the nail gun, so I guess that makes sense. So, okay. Um oh I could do something here? No, no, I cannot do anything there. Okay. Wow, this is a very I'm not I'm not a fan of this crafting here. Minecraft was kinda charming with its crafting system because everything like you didn't know how to do anything and you have to discover it, but this is I don't know, whatever. Cannot see a goddamn thing. Ah, oh, but at least the sky is beautiful. God damn it! How hard is it to just fucking put a bit of shadow around that side so it doesn't fucking look stupid? My biggest pet peeve, I noticed it in anime, that's the first time I got pissed off of this shit. Fucking, a moon is a big ass circle that will block out the stars behind it. If nobody knows this, Gator Snapper often yells at the moon. I want to make my end objective for this episode to find that fucking awesome looking German castle that I saw. But I really have no idea where I should be going to try and find that. I guess I could look it up actually if I wanted to be cheap and lazy. Which, as everyone should know, that's my prime way of being. But I don't know, we'll give it a bit. We'll wander around to this fucking bland ass environment for a little bit longer. Is that the sun rising? Could it fucking hurry its ass up. Where's that moon? Oh, the moon is still like there. Oh, and it's going that way. This is gonna take forever. Another thing games like these could do is when you're wandering around the middle of nowhere with not much going on, and you don't see anything of interest that like draws you towards it. One of the things they could just have is like a kind of maybe a random encounter, or something. Or like, what is it, Fallout has the meteors that fall down, that draws people's attention, that makes them want to do something, go over in that direction, check shit out. Or like, like I was saying, a random encounter, like a group of things comes to attack you, or I don't know, you fucking, you meet a dog, tells you a story, some shit like that, just anything to break this monotonous fucking walking. All I hear is my goddamn footsteps in the background. Oh, hello, what are you? Are you maybe a cow? Or a horse? It's hard to tell. You look like a cow. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, fuck you, cow. Get the shit out of here. Love the satisfying, like, punching sound effect of hitting a cow with a knife. That's what I have always heard. Actually, my dad told me the fucking way that you'd take down cows, like, to serve them up as meat later on. Back in the old days, before them fancy automated killing factories, you just fucking hit them really hard in the back of the head with a mallet. You know kill him. How satisfying of a job that must have been. For like, if you know, the fucking weird ass sociopathic assholes that some farmers were. But just to hit a cow in the back of the head with a mallet. Just like, sneaking up on the poor old thing. Maybe just walking up to it because it trusts you at this point. You're the, you're the guy that feeds it. You give it water. You give it hay. You sometimes pet it. Tell it how good of a cow it is and how you'd never do anything to harm it. And then, as you walk up behind it with your fucking mallet it just turns around to face you. Big old puppy dog cow eyes gleaming like, oh, it's the one that feeds me, the one that I love. And you just fucking smash its stupid fucking face open with the hammer. Yep. Maybe I'm one of those sociopathic farming assholes. Cows are really cute, though. I don't know if anybody knows that. Like, really. Cows are so fucking adorable. I like stupid things. Like, I'm not saying that the things that I like are stupid. No, I think stupid things are kind of adorable. 
Because, like, the only satisfaction I get out of seeing, like, cute dogs is after they've done something stupid or when they just make a dumb face. Like, I really enjoy that. And cows, oh, they are just the fucking dumbest. They are just so vacant and so, like, naive and happy and they just enjoy what they're doing. And, I don't know, I enjoy that. We had a beagle. She was fucking stupid. I've told the story about her before. Lucy, the head injured beagle. Unfortunately, she has passed away, but she was the fucking best dog ever. Because all the other dogs we've had have been relatively smart. And I say relatively, very, very literally, because they're fucking dogs, and for the most part, they're already stupid. But this one, oh man, she was a fucking, she was a piece of work. She got thrown out of a car when she was a puppy. And just like she hit her head, became like you know head injured after that, and my grandma took her in, took her in, and another beagle, her brother uh, Theo Paro, as I always call him. He's also he's actually more stupid than her somehow. And all he lost was a like he got his hip kind of like displaced, but I don't know he's still fine. He walks around just good, all well and good. But yeah, like. <sighs> I don't even remember the fucking subject of the story was. I guess I just wanted to talk about how stupid our dogs were. It's such a weird thing, too, because before we had owned another beagle, she, well, she was like a half beagle. She was a beagle terrier mix. She was the most perfect looking beagle, though. Like, she was streamlined for speed. She could jump like five vertical feet. She, like, hunted and killed like no one's fucking business. She was such a good fucking dog. And then, fucking cut, like, six years later. We get a fat, stinky, fucking head-injured beagle, and a stupid, just naturally stupid fucking beagle that's, like, missing half of his leg. Hello. Fuck you. Wow. Huh. Should've been sneaking up on them all this time. I didn't think they were so fucking stupid. Jesus. Just walk behind a goddamn zombie and they just, they'll accept it. Oh, this car actually has power. Oh. Or it, it had... I moved it. Well, I found the horn. Oh, God, I think I scared some zombies. Wow. You can feel the speed. Man. Do, do, how do I... How do I make him go? Car. Move. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it is WASD. Why wasn't it going before? Okay, cool. Now we have a car. That's great. And I can even turn on the fucking headlights so I can see what I'm doing. Wonderful. This will make finding that castle way easier. I don't have to worry about stupid rules of the road or speeding or anything. I mean, this is as fast as I can go, but... Alright. You know, let's take this off-road. Fuck this shit. Woo! da 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 ba 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 Oh, God. Wow. I can really feel the impact. This brings driving realism to a whole nother level. Oh, boy. That's I should have played fucking Truck Simulator. That would have been way more enjoyable than this. This is... Oh, okay, I'm back on my feet. Okay, cool, gravity just kind of gave, gave me a helping hand there. Put me back up on my wheels and whatnot. This is so fucking... There's nothing. There's no, like, there's no sense of you're driving a heavy-ass car. You hit things, it's like the lightest of taps. You flip over, God's hand comes and puts you back on your wheels. And I'm pretty sure as I, f like, was, like, flying over a hill, I was actually flying and floating down gently to the ground. It's like, no physics to this at all. Man, I bet hitting a zombie sucks, too. Let's go find a zombie. Oh, there we go. See, what is that? So fucking weird. Like, hold on, let's see if I can fly over a hill again. Like this. It floats! It's just, uh, and, oh my god. It's like no satisfaction to driving. I'm sure people would think like, oh, fucking crashing in a car is frustrating because you're not fucking driving the car. It's better than this. Oh, hey. I found like a German military base, I guess. Cool. Hello. Come on. Come on, everybody. Oh, he's like a puppy. He's like a fucking puppy. Okay, I can't move for whatever reason. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing, you little shit? Stop that. How do I go forward? Oh. Do I have to, like... I think I have to mash... De no? No, I guess not. I... I have no idea. This is... I don't understand what makes the car move. Hey! Come on! Get over here! I'm flashing my brights at you! Come on! Fucking move, car! Oh, wait, no, I'm out of gas! 
Is that what that was? Oh, wonderful. What's the what's the electric then? I guess that's the headlights. Cool. Well, I guess this place will probably have some gas. Hey, come on. Come on now. Come on. Does that? I thought that got their attention. I guess I was wrong. Well, that's a fucking pisser. Hey, fast, fast one. You're the one I'm worried about. God damn it. Okay. What if I sneak up behind him? Oh, but fuck. Wait. Does he see me? No, he's fucking militarying somewhere over that way. Well, from what I could see, if I just stand behind them and hit them, they don't give a fuck. Yep. Oh, no, no. I lost my opportunity, I suppose. And I died. Ugh. I keep having this sense of deja vu that everywhere I go, I've already been to before because, like I've already harped on, everything looks a goddamn same. Look at this astoundingly different env environment than everything else I've seen. The, the pine trees have all been cut in half. I, I just saw that. I think it's because if you have an axe, you can actually harvest trees, and you kind of cut them up as they fall over, kind of like in, um... Ooh, what's that game called? It's, uh, with, you're on the island with the crazy mutant people. Damn, what is it called? It's infinitely more entertaining than this. I think it has the same mechanic where you the log falls over, you chop it to pieces, and I guess they just... They just didn't want to fucking put a tippy-top to it. I don't fucking know. All I want is the castle. I just want to find me one castle. That's one of my biggest fucking pet peeves. Everything, like, everything tries to go for realism nowadays. I find that so fucking, like, unnecessary. A video game, I don't think, has to be real. Because the more real something is, the more obnoxious it gets. Such as you have a food, like a hunger meter and a water meter, stuff like that, or these fucking, what are these like cats? What is this? It's a pink panther. No, it's a bear? It's a pink bear? What is it? No, it's a pig. It's one of them long-legged, short-snouted pigs. Where are we now? Ooh, hello, helipad. Maybe they put helicopters in this game, that'd be cool. Or maybe I'm just at another fucking military facility that I'm under-equipped to go into. You know, for all the things I've been shitting on open world games for, No Man's Sky I still find pretty entertaining. But that's because I find the environments and the creatures in it kind of interesting for a brief period of time until it gets very, very boring, as I'm sure everyone knows how No Man's Sky turns out, but... I don't know, maybe it's also because it had the space aspect. And because you could go anywhere you wanted to, which I thought was really fucking cool. Like, you could fly your spaceship to any any planet that was the exact same as every other fucking planet you came across. Hey, nobody mind me, I'm just getting into my airplane and leaving. This is how I should have gone. Yay, the fucking fuel is dead, I guess. Propeller's going fine, but no fuel. What is, is he barfing blue? Now, I have to admit I'm curious about that. Why is he barfing blue? And why is he still on fire and not, like, dead? So many questions I have. I have to say, I'm happy the game has made me ask at least one question. The question is, where could I find fuel? Actually, I bet it's one of those things you have to fucking pick up somewhere else and just carry in your inventory until you find this shit. Ugh. Well, don't mind me, Mr. Blueface. I'm just gonna go. Okay. Maybe he has rabies. I'm really curious. Like, I want to know. Why are you... Why are you blue? Here, ch do your shit. Okay, your blue, like, actually seems to mean nothing. Like, I'm not... I don't have any status effects or anything. He just has a blue mouth. Oh, he spits! Oh, that's why. What happens if I walk into it? I just take damage. No, I take blue fire damage. It's Owl No Exorcist. It's the blue exorcist, everybody. It's Satan's Flames. Is that a castle? No, it's just another rock. In my case, I wish there were some signs that were just pointing straight to where the castle was. But in another case, I kind of I appreciate how it's like one of those things you just randomly find by yourself where it's like you're walking through the wilderness and you're just like, Oh, oh my god, it's a, it's a castle! Look at it! It's the only thing that stands out in the rest of this environment. Maybe one of the problems I have whenever I play an open world crafting game like this, is I'm always drawn more towards the wandering and exploring around rather than the actual crafting element. Because, I mean, it, I would say that definitely with this game, since the environment's so fucking sparse, that 
the crafting is supposed to be like the main feature of the game and going around those towns picking up items to build your brand new fucking nail gun extreme moon destroyer uh, weapon but I mean it's never never interesting to me I don't like having to build all the fucking minor stuff to get my level up to build the cooler stuff which is probably I don't fucking know I think I'm asking for too much I don't fucking know but it's like it's the same for Ark I don't like playing that game in the beginning and having to unlock all the basic ass bitch engrams. I like going back onto an old character that has like everything unlocked. I really like I don't like all the like the pomp and circumstance it takes to get to those certain points. Crafting is just not a thing for me. I love the going around the island. That's fun. That's the other thing. Like the Ark Island, the, like, or the fucking maps in all the Ark games I've played, or maps I've played, whatever. There's, like, the fucking Desert Dragon one, there's the normal island, there's the weird island with a floating island in the middle of it. That's, those maps are so interesting, because there's, there's, like, all the separate biomes and everything. And right as I'm making this argument, I find a cave that interest, it, like, immediately draws my fucking interest. Wonderful. But yeah. Every every place in Ark is just like so interesting. It's just that game gets really boring fast too. Just a curse of crafting, I guess. What's in here? I found a spider web. Am I gonna die of fucking cave? Oh, it's just really dark. That's that's wonderful. Well, this is a this is certainly a scary place to find myself in. Am I even gonna be able to get out if I go in here? Oh, this is creepy actually. It'd be great if in these caves, rather than just like being lost in the darkness or dying of hunger or thirst or a zombie or something. Just like the most random jump scare that doesn't even belong in this game popped up like a fucking angry chihuahua face came up and you just died. I would love that. That'd be funny. <coughs> you died at your own hand. Everyone is disappointed. Fuck you. And we're back. Once again. This fucking place. Huh. Well, you know what? I think I'm perfectly satisfied with my experience of this game. Uh, now, game designers of this game don't find my home address and beat me up for saying the things I said about this game. I really don't want that to happen. I just have my own fucking opinion. That's all. Don't. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think that's. I think I'll. I think I'll cut it for this episode. So, hey, it's been a Gator Snapper Singularity. It's. I guess this is a perfect fucking sh uh, comeback for me from my hiatus of five weeks to fucking start it off with this shit. Alright, whatever. Later, everybody.